Back to the show. So, where we last left off, we freed this fortress. It is ours to use now. I would hope so, anyway. Next step, I do not honestly know. I'm kind of just going with my gut on this one. I mean, I could check my journals and maps and, you know, do the responsible thing. But when have I ever actually been responsible? Outside of... Outside of work, anyway. Hmm, what's this? When he's on the grounds, it is men stood against a tyrant. They said defiant and stood for freedom. And they died. Wow. It is signed by the Grey Warden defenders who were besieged by King Arlen's forces. Captain Mellow, the Black Ferret, Chair Thrower Lopez, Sir Derek of Orlias, and Jason the Longbow. Alan the Quibbler, Cartography Martyr, David the Silent, Dustin the Colorblind, the Banger of the, Bolv of the Bovine Brethren, Feral the Feral, Sir Graham the Untiring, and Jason Sans Les Argonauts, Langley the Nefarious, Lucky Lucuna, Lucuna, Mad Dog Smito, Matthias the Bloody, McGwork, the Vile Priest, Melissa the Magical, Malefactor, On the Stretched, and Pack Rat Darkson. Oh, Sergeant Red Morrison, Santos the Silent Shim Scimitar, F Feet <laughs> Oh god, this is so bad. Trollic Eric, Weak Eye Santos, and well born the uh, exhaustive fire. These names are really, really hard for me to pronounce. I'm not used to speaking in ye old. I'm not even sure if it's ye old language. It's just I'm not really used to speaking in it. Quite terrible at it, actually. We're being honest of ourselves. Oh, nice. That uh, doesn't have. Actually, has a pretty good amount of strength. I'll take it. As you wish. Hmm. That door over there. Not a door I can get into, sadly. Alright, so let's get on with this adventure. Uh, it's gonna be so bad, though, when I go back and I'm gonna make the YouTube video for this. And I'm going to listen to myself, pronouncing, mispronouncing, I should say, all those easy names. Get your part in trouble fourth. Okay, so, that's done. Frostbag Mountains. Redcliffe Village. Flemish Hut. Ostagar and Kokori Wilds are pretty much out of service. Can't go there. Legends, Walderin. We were just here, weren't we? Let's go to Redcliffe. I like the way the traveling is done. It's just kind of instant. Oh, oh no, I don't like this. Yeah, take it. business. It's a great start, what are you talking about? 
Dog gave him the business. <laughs> Let's get started. That dog is OP as hell. Like, I love it. I freaking love the dog. So what do I have? Fancy to cunning. Just kinda need that. Like, who has the worst injury? Just two injuries. I can deal with injury for now. Find a way around it. Trigger the trap. So here. All right, I guess. You're just mean, fail. You just want to see me fail. I think I'm gonna title this next video "Fail Wishes Death Upon Me." Look, can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. I don't know. I doubt it. I've never liked it, that's for sure. Well, uh, let's see. How do I tell you this? We're almost at Redcliffe. Did I say how I know Arl Eamon exactly? No, no, I'm not his son. I'm a bastard. My mother was a serving girl at Redcliffe Castle, and she died when I was born. Our Lehman took me in and raised me before I was sent to the Chantry. The reason he did that was because, well, because my father was King Marrick, which made Caelan my half-brother, I suppose. Maker's breath, I hope not. I don't think so. You don't think so, do you? I'm a bastard. And, and nobody even knows about me. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaylin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I'd never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Wow. So let me get this straight. He is the illegitimate son of King Merrick. Technically speaking, wouldn't that make him the heir though? Like, I'm not sure how this works, but... I'm pretty sure... He is the heir now. Which leads me to ask this question. Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. Al Eamon eventually married a young woman from Orlay, despite all the problems it caused with the king so soon after the war. He loved her a great deal. Anyway, the new Arlesa resented the rumors which pegged me as the Arl's bastard. They weren't true, but of course they existed. The Arl didn't care, but she did. So off I was packed to the nearest monastery at age 10. Just as well. The Arlesa made sure the castle wasn't a home to me by that point. She despised me. She may have, but I think it's more likely that she feared the rumors might be true. I can't blame her for that. I remember I had an amulet with Andraste's holy symbol on it. The only thing I had of my mother's. I was so furious at being sent away, I tore it off and threw it at the wall. And it shattered. Stupid, stupid thing to do. The owl came by the monastery a few times to see how I was, but I was stubborn. I hated it there and blamed him for everything. And eventually he just stopped coming. and raised by dogs. Or I may as well have been the way I acted. But maybe all young bastards act like that, I don't know. 
All I know is that the Arl is a good man and well-loved by the people. He also was King Caelan's uncle, so he has a personal motivation to see Loghain pay for what he did. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. Wow. <laughs> I could be sarcastic on this one. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret <laughs> this. Had to be a bit of a snarky bastard on this one. I thought I saw travelers coming down the road. It's got to look familiar. believed it. Have you come to help us? So you, you don't know? Has nobody out there heard? He could be dead for all we know. Nobody's heard from the castle in days. We're under attack. Monsters come out of the castle every night and attack us until dawn. Everyone's been fighting and dying. Apparently everyone seems to agree that a blight is the perfect time to start killing each other. Marvelous, really. We've no army to defend us. No Arl and no king to send us help. So many are dead. And those left are terrified they're next. Hold on, what is this evil that's attacking you? I, I, I don't rightly know. I'm sorry, nobody does. I should take you to Ban Tegan. He's all that's holding us together. He'll want to see you. Ban Tegan, our Lehman's brother, he's here. Yes. It's not far, if you'll come with me. feeling about this. It's Thomas, yes? And who are these people with you? They are obviously not simple travelers. No, my lord. They just arrived, and I thought you would want to see them. Well done, Thomas. Greetings, friends. My name is Tegan, Ban of Rainersphere, brother to the R. I remember you, Ban Tegan, though the last time we met, I was a lot younger and covered in mud. Covered in mud? Alistair? It is you, isn't it? You're alive! This is wonderful news! Still alive, yes. Though not for long, if Tern Loghain has anything to say about it. Indeed. Loghain would have us believe all Grey Wardens died along with my nephew, amongst other things. I refer to Caelan, of course. Our sister was Queen Rowan, King Merrick's wife and Caelan's mother, make her rest her soul. So, you are a Grey Warden as well? Is it possible we've met? You seem very familiar. Ah, yes, that's it, exactly. A pleasure to meet you indeed, though I wish it were under better circumstances. You're here to see my brother. Unfortunately, that might be a problem. Eamon is gravely ill. No one has heard from the castle in days. No guards patrol the walls, and no one has responded to my shouts. The attack started a few nights ago. Evil things surged from the castle. We drove them back, but many perished during the assault. Some call them the Walking Dead. Decomposing corpses, returning to life with a hunger for human flesh. Zombies? They hit again the next night. Each night they come, with greater numbers. With Caelan dead and Loghain starting a war over the throne, no one responds to my urgent calls for help. I have a feeling tonight's assault will be the worst yet. Alistair, I hate to ask, but I desperately need the help of you and your friends. It isn't just up to me. Though the Grey Wardens don't stand much chance against Loghain without Arl Eamon. This is tricky. I know Alistair, and I trust those he chooses to travel with. What do you say? By all means.
The castle is closed to us, its doors barred. We could storm it, certainly, but what would that accomplish? Our numbers are too few. We